What's going on everybody and welcome back to Comic Breakdown. If you guys are new to the channel, do me a favor and hit that sub button, hit that notification bell, and make sure you're not missing any of the awesome content we have coming out. Now, for this video, we are going to be jumping into Batman the Detective. And this will be issue number four. Now, if you haven't been keeping up with this line, go ahead and check out the link in my description as well as the top of this video. It will get you completely caught up on everything that's been going on with Batman since he ventured over to Europe. Now, this is written by Tom Taylor. Pencils are by Andy Kubert. Inks are Sandra Hope. And with that being said, let's dive into this breakdown. All right, guys. So issue number three, we really learned who Henry Descard was. We got a very in-depth backstory to who he is and his association with Batman. But come the end of the story, Batman ends up getting apprehended by Interpol. A crap ton of cops come piling in and they throw him in cuffs. And so our story is picking us up with Bruce Wayne currently sitting in an interrogation room. Now we all know Batman. He doesn't he doesn't go to places that he doesn't want to be. And this interrogation room is exactly where he wants to be right now. And as they begin their interrogation into Bruce Wayne, they're trying to find out why he has been in all of the locations where individuals have died. Where the Equilibrium has killed people. Now the Equilibrium, they're an organization that is hellbent on more or less making a balance, evening the odds, killing everybody that Batman has ever saved, saying that these people should have died. And the only reason they didn't is because Batman saved them. And so they're going around thinking that they are correcting the errors done. But as they're doing this interrogation with Batman, this is exactly where he wants to be. As we said previously, and it's because they're showing him all of the murders. They're trying to get him to confess. They think that he has something to do with this, or at least that's what it seems right now. And this is more or less giving Bruce Wayne a timeline. It's getting him a chain of events of when everything has happened, so he can more easily track them all down. You know, this is information that he wanted from them that they obviously wouldn't willingly give to Batman. And so he goes ahead and decides to do this little tactic of getting himself arrested or allowing himself to be arrested so that he can find out all of this information. Now, as Batman sits here and he sips on his water, they ask him if he recognizes any of these people. And of course he does. He remembers every single one of them. These are the souls, the lives that he saved. But this isn't something that he's going to tell Interpol. He's going to de deny any kind of connection to them whatsoever. He's going to play the, the dumb rich guy that just happened to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. And with this interrogation going even more in depth, things start to go a little weird. Things start to seem a little bit off. Batman having a small tickle in his throat, continuously asking for water. He really does believe that he is in the clear. He believes that they're going to release him and he's going to call it a day. But when they get towards the end of this interrogation, they throw him in handcuffs. They handcuff him to the table that is in front of him. And this is when Batman starts to realize that something is not right here. He missed something along the way. And as Bruce Wayne is slowly starting to piece together exactly what is going on here, these two Interpol agents, we soon learn that they are Equilibrium. And they've come here to kill Bruce Wayne. Because they believe Batman has saved Bruce Wayne at least once. While they thought maybe it could be possible that he is the Batman, they don't believe it to be true because he is far too old to be able to wear the cowl. And so what they believe is that he has been the financier of Batman for all of these years. And so that made Bruce Wayne one of their biggest targets. And now they have him locked up in a room. They poisoned him with the drink that he'd been drinking. And now she drives a knife directly into the back of Bruce Wayne. For one of the few times ever in Batman's history, he has been tricked. He has been outmaneuvered. He has been manipulated, and with the poison going through his body, with him bleeding out all over the place, Equilibrium leaves, here, leaves him here to die. They leave him here, and as they make their exit, he slows his heart rate. He makes it appear as though he is slowly coming to his death. But once they finally leave the room, he stands up. 
he stands up and he breaks the chains. And as he's making his escape, he's trying his best to disclose his his face and who he is. Not, not, not wanting to be seen by anybody, he makes his way out of the police station and this is when he runs into Squire. Squire coming with a lawyer to be able to bail him out of jail. Realizing he's already been released or quote unquote released, they make their way off. And he lets Squire know that he needs to get to a pharmacy. He needs to get to one right away because he's been poisoned. And he needs activated charcoal to be able to rid his body of this poison from stopping him from going into a complete body shutdown. And as they make their way to the pharmacy, they get inside and he doesn't even try to take a small dose. He takes every bit he can. He just needs to get this into his system. That way he doesn't die. And after taking these, we see Bruce Wayne pass out on the ground. Him waking up two days later. Squire sitting there by his side, letting him know that in his absence, in those two days that he has been asleep, there have been hundreds of people killed by Equilibrium. There was a number of people murdered in individual raids all over the country. And in Russell's, there was a fire where they locked inside tons and tons and tons of people. They are massacring. They are committing genocide. And in Batman's absence, they are left completely unchecked. And Batman hearing this, he immediately wants to get up. He immediately wants to get back into the fight. You know, two days of rest for Batman, that's more than he has ever had in most of his life. And so he tells Squire to go grab the gear and he gives her a list of fruit that she needs to go pick up. And so Squire going and getting this little list of fruit, getting his suitcase, they sit on a rooftop and they wait. And what they're waiting for is someone to bring them their mobile bat cave. Because Batman has this girl Sarah come by this location every so often just to ensure that Batman doesn't need the mobile bat cave. Kind of like a check-in that Alfred set up for Batman. But this is his mobile bat cave for Europe. Not having his micro caves like he does in Gotham City. This is his way of being able to get around the city. Though I don't know if it would be completely undetected with how completely massive this bat cave is. You would figure that somebody's going to see this, someone's going to report it, someone's going to take a picture of it and post it online. I know I would be out front taking pictures with my with my selfie and going all going all out on it but as batman gets on board he activates all of the systems we seeing just a little bit of remnants left from home the tiny dinosaur the tiny the tiny penny that they have there just little throwbacks to the original bat cave but with turning the systems on this is where he gets in contact with Oracle, and they start doing their little investigation to the people that kidnapped him. Not sure if they are the leaders of Equilibrium, or if they're just henchmen, but this is their first lead into being able to track them down. And Batman admits one thing. He admits that Descartes was right. Batman is not going to be able to find her by himself the fastest. He's going to be needing some help he's gonna have to call in some backup here in europe and that's when he tells oracle to activate the european alliance of the bat and that will be the end of this issue so let me know what you guys think down in the comments i personally think it was a lot of fun i i've really been enjoying this Batman the Detective run, taking place in an Elseworlds type story, we're really seeing Batman out of his elements. Though I don't know if we can really say that considering he has like a, a freaking 25 foot RV size bat cave. Which is absolutely phenomenal, I'm not knocking it in the least bit. I just don't think it, it's very plausible to be driving that around Europe and not grabbing the attention of Interpol or whoever else may be trying to track down Batman, aka Equilibrium. I for one do personally enjoy this story a lot. Tom Taylor really is such an amazing writer and the artwork really does pop to it. I like the more darker, grittier look that they're drawing and coloring Batman in this comic. And I do like the fact that he's a little bit older. This is a little bit aged Batman. So much so that people wouldn't even believe that Bruce Wayne is Batman. 
and I am super excited to see the European Alliance of the Bat. But yeah, let me know what you guys think down in the comments. If you have not yet, do me a favor, hit that sub button, hit that notification bell, make sure you're not missing any of the awesome content we have coming out, and until the next breakdown.